This video is sponsored by Skillshare. And we're back. <laughs> Hello. Hello, friends. This is Osvaldo from Rock Entry. Today we have Sofia joining us. Yay. And today we're going to be helping her with how to bicycle. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I, I know how to do the other bicycle, but. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to do this? Yeah. The, the cycling. Yeah. The cycling. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So she's been working really hard on this pink problem. And one of the techniques that she has, hasn't been working on yet, mm -hmm. she hasn't even applied in any of her climbs, is called the bicycle. Mm -hmm. So this is something that I'm gonna teach Sophia for this couple of days and share with you guys beta and how to do it as well. Share with me, right? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll share, I'll share <laughs> with her too. I need the yeah. help. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Okay, cool. All right, Sophia, this is it, girl. <laughs> I'm let's nervous. Show, let's show them what you got. <laughs> I've been progressing, I swear. I swear. <laughs> I've been climbing. <laughs> and take one. <laughs> What's one of the issues for you right now with this climb? Uh, the crux of this climb is definitely the bicycle, like you said, um, where I basically have to apply a toe and then hook on the other foot. Um, so it's not on the same hold. I've, I've seen it before done on the same hold, mm -hmm. but this one is on two different holds. So I have to tow a, 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 a crimp, yeah. and then I have to tow hook a jug. Yeah. And it's kind of, I feel like this is tricky for me because I have to extend one foot and, uh, what's and it pull. And pull on the other. the other. So she's doing this. This. Yeah. To keep myself up long enough so I can reach to another crimp. Um, I wish it was a jug. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing is this, there's different types of bicycles, right? Yeah. Sometimes you're using the same hold and sometimes you use different holds. Yeah. And in this case, we're using different holds. We're using a crimp where she's stepping and she's pulling on a, on a jug yeah. climb, on a jug yeah. Uh, hold. Yeah. yeah. An easy slip out because now you're putting most of your weight on this on the pull so your left foot tends to slip out now if I don't pull enough this is what happens Right foot comes off, right foot comes off, left foot comes off. Everything collapses pretty much. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean I can't just use tension. If I'm strong enough, I could just use tension on that left foot, if I'm strong enough, which I'll try. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so that that lets you know what happens if I don't add enough uh, pull. So what the bicycle requires is an equal amount of pull and pressure. Sometimes if you do too much of one or the other, it doesn't work out. And another thing, once it feels right, your body is gonna help you keep that friction as well, as Sophia mentioned before. Another thing, when I when Sophia reaches out, she has to keep that toe and, and uh, that toe hook and uh, left foot at all times. Once she has her right foot, right hand out, she has to keep that uh, in place as well. You can't lose tension on that. Once she gets too relaxed, it all collapses as well. I want to talk about our sponsor for today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. And I'm going to talk about one of the classes that I take, which is Cinematography Basics, Understanding Filmmaking Styles by Zach Mulligan. Most of you know I'm all about filmmaking, cinematography, and learning. One of the takeaways, for instance, that I'm learning from Zach is the fact that how important framing is and how important it is to have a shot list as well. What's great about Skillshare is that it's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. Now, since Skillshare is sponsoring this video, the first 1,000 of my subscribers that click on the link in the description below are gonna get a free trial of the premium membership. So you can explore your creativity, you guys. So be sure to click on the link in the description below. It's a good way to support my work and support our sponsorship, Skillshare. Yes, come on, Sophia. And we're back. <laughs> All, right. All right, so yeah, she's been doing pretty fantastic, oh, in my opinion. So. Yeah, so you got you got the hang of the bicycle. Yeah. And tell them how do, how do you feel? What what did you learn about the bicycle that you can point out? I mean, it's 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 just like any other technique that I've been learning, um, and you guys have probably been learning too. It's like you just gotta practice. You just have to do it. Um, it, it, it feels a lot easier now and I feel like there's like a little bit of muscle memory coming in because I'm not yeah. really thinking about it anymore but um, but yeah just try it and then you know if you fail it's it's fine it's it's gonna get edited out anyways if you fail too many times <laughs> Um, but no, it's, how it's did good. you feel about your body positioning on yeah. it and how so, did you feel about that? the biggest key for me was making sure that when I set myself up and start to release that I also let my body kind of fall back as well. Um, so my butt's kind of hanging out a little bit, but that helps keep the friction on the bicycle. So it keeps this in place because if I'm like pulling myself like this, I'm not really holding on to anything. But once my body is out, then yeah. my feet doesn't have to do as much yeah. work. Because she's using her body weight yeah. to add friction on the holds. Exactly. And then the next hold makes it a lot easier because I'm not reaching like all the way from the front. Like I'm just yeah. up there and I just kind of go Yeah. Up. And she's closer to the hold, as yeah. you mentioned. Yep. Yeah. Closer to the hold, um, which is pretty necessary because I'm pretty, I'm pretty reach. I'm pretty fully extended on this one. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, so I really have to set everything up correctly, but that's the thing about climbing sometimes once your body 
right position is in the right place. Oh my goodness. It's like, like, she's so right. Yeah, yeah, it just feels like yeah. so and it much takes, easier. And it takes time, but yeah. once you get that feeling, yes. you'll know how to redo it again. Yeah. You, you, yeah. You'll just know. Your body's just going to know too. Right. And that's why redoing climbs is also very important. Yeah. yeah. Alright, sweet. Well, I hope you guys learned something. I hope, Sophia, you learned something today yeah, too. I learned a lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. As yeah. always. <laughs> and you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button. If you would like to support the channel, please become a Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description below. That helps the channel a lot. Love you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Sophia, for being here. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank oh. you for being such a good teacher all the time. Uh, yeah, Ooh. I try. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.